Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of 868 Hack. <clears throat> we are on a three game win streak, and uh, we'll just dive in. Here we go. Virus motion. <sighs> you guys want to play this one? I'm out. Jeez. Gross. Alright, I need to be very, very careful around viruses. I, I have sort of like developed some reflexes for dealing with most monsters in this game, and they mostly work even when the monsters are upgraded. Uh, but I don't have a set of reflexes for these super fast viruses, and so I keep making dumb plays. Uh, Cause normally viruses you can just like sort of walk towards, and then if the parody is wrong, you can fix it by walking away. But these guys are so fast that you can get trapped. Oh god! All right. Well, we have push. That's something, I guess. So, uh, we do, though, have a perfectly fine plan for dealing with this guy. We just walk east, and he'll go either here, well, let's say here, which is a simple case, then we just shoot him three, twice, right? Or he'll go here, and then we can just back off back to here, and he'll go to one of these two squares and shoot him. There we go. Got him. Attack plus. Wow, that would be an ambitious pickup this early. Uh, however, reset would be nice to have. Not very good resource-wise, but very easy to defend, and... Uh, very useful if we're going to get zapped by a lot of viruses because of me making dumb dumb plays. I have no idea what this rip dog is. Just FYI. Alright, there we go. And I need to... Even when monsters just spawn in, I have to stop and think, what if this is a virus, what do I do? So if it is a virus, he'll move to like here, which will be fine. What if he's a glitch? That's also sort of a concern. The other two, no particular problem right now. If he's a glitch, we're at the right parity with him that, uh, that he won't be an issue. I was wrong about that, but it turns out <laughs> to be fine. <laughs> oh, that was the wrong parody, but he chose a dumb move. What am I even? Jeez, guys. Couldn't you watch someone better at this game, maybe, do you think? Ugh. I really want some more energy. I don't love show, but it's okay, right? I could go here. Picks up seven energy and a show. Might help me see an antivirus that, or a poly that's in uh, an encrypted block, right? Um, or I could go here, pick up a little bit of energy and a bunch of credits. Total of nine, but no program. Um, I think. I think I don't want the show. I rarely use show to just decide to just see what's in a wall. I figure like, hey, you know, whatever's there, I'll be happy with. I'm flexible. And uh, I don't have tools that make it easy to kill monsters from afar. Like if I had if I had D-bomb, it might be nice to know, hey, this guy's going to be a demon, and let's just blow him up while everything just has one HP. Well, literally the only play we have right now is to go north, so let's do that. Fine. These are not viruses, so I am happy. I think I go north-north. The... Oh, if I go north-north, he'll just go here, and I don't have really an answer to that. Actually, he might go south first, and then, then my north would expose him. What if I went west and north? Then he would guaranteed be at an awkward position for me, right? West west guarantees he's shootable, but leaves me exposed to the glitch. Another possibility is go west and the glitch happens to go north, uh, and then I could just shoot him twice. I'd have taken three moves, 
and then this uh, Cryptog would tag me. So I think the idea is to go north twice, hope this happens, and then we get this guy as well. Okay, great. Uh, what do we want? When, when do we want it? Now. Uh, delay? I like delay a lot. Um, wait? I generally like a lot. Um, is delay, or sorry, is wait any better against these viruses than it usually is? I guess so, because sometimes you can't adjust parity anymore like you normally can. Like if he's, if he's exactly three squares away and I then moving like towards him would hurt me and away from him might put me around the corner awkwardly, whereas waiting could get him into a right position. So like, I think it's a little bit better than usual now. I think I definitely want delay. And uh, I might as well... Which way am I gonna go here? How do I convince this guy? I think if I just move south and east, he has to follow me. Yeah. Oh, no! I should've gone east and then south. He went that way. That's tricky. Uh, okay. Well, well, well. So he's in one of these two squares, huh? Because uh, once I... So I went south and he went west. Then I went east. So he's in one of these two squares, rather. If I go south, then whichever of those squares he is in, he will definitely go here next. And then I can go north and shoot him. There we go. Let's just pick up this delay right now. Definitely delay these guys. Right? I could move east and shoot this guy instead, but that doesn't seem so promising. I think just delay these two and then try to defend the rest without a delay. Fine. It's four moves since this guy appeared, so he's like here. Um. South, north ought to expose him either way. Alright. Haven't seen any viruses at all this floor, which is nice. Um, yeah, I definitely want the weight because it has a lot of energy next to it, and all of our programs require a lot of energy. Weight, of course, also requires some, which makes it sort of a problem. Oh, I was hoping that was going to be a virus just so I could, like, dodge this, right? Wow. So here's something interesting. If this guy is a virus, he'll get to us before we finish killing this guy, even if it's not a demon. Which is like, wow, they're fast, right? I had not uh, hitherto recognized just how fast they are. Um, so, one thing we could do is move south. Because I know if I move west and this guy's a virus, we're going to take a hit. But on the other hand, taking it one hit is fine. But if this is like a... I'm pointing at the screen with my actual fingers, guys. Sorry about that. If this is a demon, and this is a virus, I'll be in pretty sad shape. Uh, after moving west, I'll take like two hits, which I don't like very much. So what if I go south? I could then discover the bad news, right? And instead of shooting this guy, go south again. Which gets me to a spot where he's gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, or actually, he would probably go one, two, three, and then he would start going around the long way, because this guy would be in the way. Anyway, I think it's better to go south than west. All right, the prophecy half came true, but it was the least bad half. We didn't get the virus. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, I think I am very much content to use a delay against this. 
I might try to push my luck if we didn't have any enemy power-ups, but uh, we do, so when I can kill two monsters for that low, low price, I'm happy to take it. Now, what do we have to do to ensure this virus uh, walks into our line of sight without hitting us? <laughs> if I move east, he will certainly go this way, one, two, three. And then I can walk west, and he'll go one, two, three, to here while I'll be standing here. So there we go. Okay, great. What do we do now? Nothing... Nothing... What's the, nothing cries out to me, uh, begging to be taken here. Still want energy. I also kind of want this question mark program, just so I can find something that uses up my my uh, credits. I could pick up Crash that uses credits, but uh, it's going to be pretty hard to defend uh, so out in the open. It's got a poor resource profile near it, and it isn't exactly the kind of program I'm looking for. If I take the question mark, I can't get a lot of energy together with it, is the problem. I can go west, pick up three energy and one credit. And south, I get, like, slightly better total resources, but still pretty poor, and almost no energy. So, I think I might just, uh... Use this as a refuel floor. Pick up, say, here and then float the second siphon. Yeah. I don't love it, but... Uh, I'm gonna wait on using the siphon here. Hmm. Actually, I guess it adds two turns to my exit strategy if I if I save it. So I'll just, uh... I'll use it now. I was thinking of just delaying the decision until I could no longer avoid waiting, but uh, the potential for gain was so trivially small that it didn't really... didn't seem worth the extra two turns it was going to take me to escape, during which time, who knows, maybe a virus spawns in an awkward spot or something. Okay, wow, a lot of credits right there. That's what I see. I see a poly. That's promising. There's a reason it costs one extra. It's because it's so good with all these crazy viruses around. Uh, oh, there we go. My video is done rendering, guys. Hope you enjoyed that little extra beep. Uh... There's not a lot of good places to pick up energy, right? Like, so I want to go here. I guess that's reasonable energy, right? Um, here is okay, but... I, I mean, I can't turn this down, can I? I don't think so. Um, maybe we'll pick up, like, an exchange or something, and then all these credits can turn into energy. But uh, for the moment, I think the main plan of attack is to just use one delay to kill the two easternmost enemies and then figure out what to do with the others once they spawn in. <coughs> Both viruses. Wow. Uh, that is scary. Um, so we can effectively destroy them both with a single reset, in, in the sense that we would take two damage and then heal up, and then they would be gone. Just walk north, they'll both be adjacent to us. Kill one of them, heal up, kill the other. It's hard to see any plan being any better, but I should at least consider it, I suppose. I can't delay. Push does, like, no good at all. Uh, wait. Does not improve the situation. Uh, so there we go. That's, you know, all of our alternatives have been considered. Let's do it. Oh, they're not both adjacent to us, but they might as well. Now I guess, technically, I don't even have to reset just yet. I can delay and maybe, like, so I can put it off. Let's uh, try to avoid using words that collide with words that have meaning inside the game. Um, one, two, three. I might discover that I don't need the, uh, 
the reset to survive this floor, and then I can just um, uh, get the heal on the way out. So I think I'm picking up this poly to deal with the to help deal with the viruses. And uh, and then I'm gonna pick up all this this big bag of money. Um, and then I'm gonna leave. I'm probably gonna have to delay some things to kill off this poly, but that's all right. <laughs> Okay, uh, two delays looks like it handles this pretty nicely, right? Walk west, shoot south, walk west. One more delay, shoot, shoot. And then, like, walk away so that we can cope with a potential virus spawn or whatever. So, delay. Delay. Actually, I can just walk south twice, uh, because he won't spawn in until then. Ah! Already? Um... However, a poly seems to solve the situation comfortably, right? Whatever this guy turns into, it'll be speed one. Which means, well, if I shoot west, sorry, if this guy turns into a demon, I would actually be thrilled. Because that means my two shots would be just enough time for this guy to get adjacent and I can shoot him. If he turns into something else, more likely, um, I'll shoot him once and kill him. And then this guy, I might have some trouble nailing down. But I suppose I could use a wave. So, that seems like the plan. Let's poly. Alright. Fine. If he'd been a Cryptog, of course, he never would have made that blunder. and He would have had to, so... Had to, uh, wait. But okay. Uh, let's just pick this up. Keep our eyes peeled for, say, antivirus or exchange. I would be very happy to see either one of those. Uh, well, neither of them are on this floor. Um, however, there's several good energy nodes here. Here, although I don't know that we want to fight seven monsters, here is just as, not nearly as good anyway. Here is quite good. Um, here's alright. Pretty good in terms of total resources, right? I don't know. Yikes. Probably gonna take that, I guess. Um, and then here, maybe or something. Uh, we could grab Undo. Undo could be pretty good. It's a little bit... Poor, poor resources near it, but quite a defensible position here. I think that's good enough. So, uh, we start with the delay, that's a three. <sighs> Do I need one more delay? If this guy is not a virus, we'll be fine, right? And if he is a virus, we can step away from him, walk away from him, after he spawns in, and then he'll be at the right distance from us. Which leaves just the question of these two. If neither of them is a virus, it's like just easy, right? But if either of them is a virus, it's pretty awkward. I think we're not likely to take more than two damage from misjudging this situation. Uh, so I'm going to not spend the delay. Hope that I don't have to use a reset, but maybe I do. Um, I think the balance of probability favors uh, not spending anything too expensive here. All right, we got one virus, but these guys aren't viruses. Great. As predicted, we can handle this guy with no trouble. That's one, two, three moves since they spawned in. Uh, the Cryptog is now right here. Yeah, stupid virus. 
so eager to get into the killing zone. Uh, Alright, what do we do with this guy? If I move west, he might go one, two, three, which would be great. Or he might go one, two, three. But then I could step east again and still get Fine. What's this guy gonna do? One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. But how do I get into a spot where I can actually shoot him from there? I think I have to wait, right? Because if I make any two moves, I'll have to end in like one of these spaces, right? And none of them can shoot him when he's here. And I'll have to walk back to like here, and then he'll get me, right? So I think what we do is we make any two moves, and then we wait. Oh. Now, I do still want this undo. Delay seems not that useful. Especially when we get such tame enemies. It could have been a lot worse with glitches and viruses and so on. Uh, let's see, if this guy has a virus, it's still fine to walk towards him, right? Yes. Um, pick up this. I'm. I'm really carrying a humongous pile of credits right now. And credits aren't really what I need. I don't have a good way to spend credits. What I really, really need is energy. But, I mean, we also pick up five energy here. It's fine. I could also go for points, but I really don't... I don't have a way to defend myself. I could float siphons and hope to get more points and programs later, but no thanks. I'm just gonna keep like hoovering up resources until I feel emotionally secure. Oh, I made an error. Oh, that was such a dumb play. Um, I should have just moved east when the guy spawned in, or when his transmission appeared, rather. Um, so that if he was a virus, I wouldn't get trapped like this. I'm used to that not being an issue, because if he's a virus, I can just walk away from him, right? But nope, he's speed 3. Uh, so, I think we're already going to make use of an undo. Uh, I'll undo, this guy will go back to being in a box, this guy will be at 2 health. I'll walk east, spawn in, appear, shoot, shoot, he'll be adjacent, shoot, shoot. Okay, sure, that all works. So undo, do what I should have done to begin with. I'm not even making use of new knowledge I got. This is just like was the right play to begin with, and I should have known it, but I didn't think about it. So that's that's a one credit stupidity tax there. I'm still picking this up. I really need energy. But alright. We have we have so much resources. So many resources? Kind of both. Resources is like a Countable slash uncountable now, isn't it? No. Um, I think probably so many is correct in all cases. <laughs> um, so, the obvious play is to delay, move east, and just gun these jerks down. The question, I guess, is just like, what are we doing with this floor? It's kind of tempting to pick this up. Kind of. I'm not going to use another delay. I'm just going to shoot down here. One virus, so we wait. Is there any way I can adjust parity against this guy without risking anything? I don't think there is. Like, if I move north... Well... There's some chance that that works out. Isn't there? No. He'll always be close enough to me. Um... I think we'll just poly him now. I could push. And then next turn, he would move adjacent to me. But I think I prefer Polly. I'd rather spend a credit than an energy in the 
Polly should most of the time resolve the situation. Okay, did not. Did not resolve it at all. Okay, so now is my chance to test the poly slash undo combo that I mentioned in some videos ago and never really tried out. Um, so let's see. Last turn. Um, I want to make sure that I don't like misunderstand whether the combo works or not. Uh, so right now we have 39 slash 21, right? So if I undo, we'll have uh, 39 slash 22. Yeah. So just let's just remember that before engaging shenanigans, I had 39 slash 21. And let's hit undo here, because I don't like what these, these guys morphed into at all. Undo. It undid quite a while. Um, Right, because it doesn't because it undoes the last time step, which is the last actual turn you took. The poly I did was instantaneous. Whatever, we're at thirty nine twenty two, uh, and now what I want to see is if another poly gets us a more friendly monster set. So it did well. It got us at any rate a different monster set. Um, so we it's not seated. We don't just keep getting the same monsters over and over. Um, huh. And each time we do this, we're effectively traveling one step further back in time, right? And we're getting sort of free attempts to poly along the way. Not free, but we're sort of doing several undos in a row while also, each time we do, getting a chance of fixing the problem with a different monster. So I've now gone far enough back in time that if I wanted to, I could delay this guy. Um, now that I know he's a virus, right? Doesn't seem like such a promising plan. You know, <laughs> I wish I'd paid a little bit more attention to where all the monsters were when I polyed them. But, weren't they, like, here? Last turn? I moved south, and one of them was immediately right here. And I started shooting him. Yeah, I think that's, like, where they were after the last poly. So let's move, like, south north and see what happens, I guess. Yeah, okay, it's still a virus. <laughs> I, I don't know, this all, this all, like, feels like meddling with things I was not meant to know, right? I don't know. But I'm getting polys for just one credit and zero energy, so that's pretty good. It just feels very, like, hard to keep track in my head of, like, what I should be doing to make this situation work out well for me. Um, I guess Polly now? Sure? Uh, I mean, I'll take it, I guess. Alright, alright, we did it. Uh, what did that cost us? Two-ish undos and one Polly? Pretty good, right? We had 39 slash 22 or something? Yeah, oh, pretty good. Considering that we hit the poly button like three times and only paid one energy, I'm happy. So, all right, what do we want on this floor? Siphon Plus seems like hmm, pretty dicey uh, proposition. We have enough credits to make uh, good use of it, and it would pay for itself, since so we would get the five credits back and we could buy a new siphon. Uh, but, of course, we'd have to spend a lot of resources defending it. This is not the best place in the world to defend from. Um, and it would not really get us all that much. 
I don't really like Siphon Pluses. I, I feel like seven is too many. Maybe six or five? I don't know. You can get kind of okay value out of it. Like, oh yeah, pick up some, uh, uh, some free credits here. Right? Pick up some free energy here. Um, but if you're siphoning anywhere else on the floor, you tend to be getting the high value ones anyway. And so what your siphon plus buys you seem to be the low value ones. Um, it's okay sometimes, but I usually don't. Do I want these four points? I mean, I could take them. I could take a question mark over here. I could try both here. It seems very dangerous. I really just want better tools, but we're on like sector six. We're not gonna get a lot of chances to pick up better tools. Uh, all right, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we'll just move south, south. Ah, yeah. Uh, still no exchange, still no antivirus. Well, you have poly at least. I just like, I don't know, delay is my only, I, well, okay, reset's a good program too, but delay is my only program for like mass theft. Um, yeah, man. And I don't have a way to spend all of these credits I'm piling up. Ah, now that's an argument in favor of Siphon Plus. Normally, I'm not so fond of Siphon Plus because it tends to convert your credits into energy. But this run, pretty much all of my programs require energy. So I could consider that as a positive. There's usually a lot more good locations to siphon if you're willing to turn some of your credits into energy, right? Like, this spot has seven total resources, or eight, like, it's free! Um, but if that means turning, like, three credits into six energy, that's a trade-off you might not want to make. Your credits keep you alive, right? But on this run, we have so many credits that I would be willing to turn them into energy. Uh, especially if I were getting a greater than uh, even exchange rate. So that's something to consider. Uh, it would also let me be a little bit more flexible with using up siphons early on like whatever seems like a good deal, and then later if I need more siphons I can just buy them back. Ugh. Ugh. Makes me sad, but I, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna pick up the siphon plus. What if this guy's a virus? What do I do? One, two, three. I think I move north. He's not a virus. That's good. If I move west, which way is this guy going to go? 1, 2, 3, 4 versus 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, so he'll definitely come north if I go west, which is fine with me. I really hate picking up a Siphon Plus that's in like such a mediocre position to defend, but I think that this run is the run that calls for it. I'm, I was, I was kind of quiet there. I don't know, sorry, I just it's getting a little late at night and I'm... Uh... <laughs> Uh, not exactly trying to keep it down for the neighbors right now, I just like, I don't know, just sort of as my energy level's getting a little bit low. I don't know, this is actually a great, great set of monster spawns. I'm very happy with this. Because we have a very easy line of delays. Um, now, the question is though, do we use another delay, or do we count on our position to be defensible here? We really still have very few programs that Monsters. Uh, we have actually zero. Uh, delay is our only program for kill dudes, as they say. Um, so, do I really think I can defend against five monsters just using this sort of mediocre corridor here? Or it would be four, I guess. I would shoot this guy. I think so. With a few polys? Yeah, I think I could do that. And it would cost me, like, two delays to take out these three monsters. I think I can do better than that. So let's go. Alright. Some viruses. But I can step east. Walk east. Never gonna get the hang of that, am I? Um, let's say I do. And this guy comes here, right? 
this guy is going to go the long way. Although he might not realize to do it yet. He might go one, two, three, and then this gets blocked up, right? And then he might change his mind and go this way. So we might take no damage defending in that way. But let's say this guy does the smart move of one, two, three, one, two, three. He would then get us just as we're finishing off this virus. But that's only one damage, which is not such a big deal. So I'm going to try the optimistic play of moving east. They're so fast. Oh, my heart. Uh, okay, so now that that has occurred, uh, I want to think about applying a poly to slow this guy down. Or would I rather that he take the three moves now to get here? No, I would not. So we will poly him now. <laughs> Made that guy a virus, which is not the best thing in the world either. So you know what? Let's undo. Six. And we'll just free roll uh, on another try. Here we go. Interesting. Huh. The monster occurred somewhere different. So... It looks like the fact that a monster is going to occur was uh, already predetermined, but where it was going to place was not. So, good to keep in mind. Um, but alright, we still want a poly. I really hope we don't create another, like, turn this guy into a virus again. Press 5. <laughs> I mean, turning that guy into a virus is like, okay, I guess. No, it's bad. It's bad. Um, every virus is terrible, and we don't have a way to deal with them. Maybe I just need to, like, take the one hit. Right? Maybe that's okay. I shoot this guy twice. This guy comes in here like lightning and zaps me once. But then I shoot him twice, now I've made four moves. This guy's adjacent, this guy's getting real close. But I can use a reset or two, right? Or I can keep spending undos hoping for like the dream poly. I'm not even really sure what that would be. I don't think there's gonna be one that lets us get out of this for free. And this is good enough. All right, let's take it. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, ah, I could do another poly now that I've shot this guy once. That makes it harder for these guys to get through the walls to get to me. It slows this guy down. I think I'll go for it. Alright, this guy becoming a virus is fine. I'm starting to get a little bit cramped by all these demons here. Okay, we'll just shoot the guy to the south twice, taking two damage. I could push him once to prevent one damage. Or I could just take the two damage and then like head out to the exit. And then, yeah, so push is not any more efficient than a reset if I use it to prevent one damage. in fact less efficient because I'd be wasting the heal I get out here. Wait, how much? Yeah, push would only be preventing one damage. Okay, so let's just uh, let's just take the two. <sighs> this guy's gonna creep up on me, isn't he? He's right here right now. Uh, I could poly, killing the guy in front of me, and unless this guy turns into a demon, I would have him. So I think that that's fine. That's basically saving two health for one poly, which is a great deal. Fine. That's one move. So he's here. Two. He's here. Three. Now he's exactly here. Back up. 
And we can start cashing in on our Siphon Plus at last. How exactly to do that is not clear, but this looks like a good start. <laughs> Pretty much anything that has at least five uh, credits we want to take now. And arguably uh, some places that don't. We could try this here, but I still don't have a good way to defend myself. Uh, so I don't really want to mess with that. Whereas here, um, does a great job of converting credits to energy. So we'll just buy a siphon. <laughs> Now, we can try to pick up this thing here. Or not. And just grab like this, maybe. This is obviously not good, but this is fine here. And then sort of these tiles, uh, these squares tile well with being here or here. Yeah, so let's do that. Excuse my sniffles. Um, and I want to pick up a question mark program more than I want to pick up this stuff. <laughs> Debug. Alright, well there's a way to spend some, some credits, I suppose. Should be too picky. Whoa, hey! Okay, we are being asked politely to leave. Holy smokes. What? Why are there so many monsters? I don't know why, but there are. Um, let's reset? I wonder if the monster spawn rate is tied somehow not to the amount of time you've spent on the floor, but to how much you have siphoned. Because this is unreal, right? I don't think I've seen them this fast, like, ever. But okay, we gotta get, we gotta get out of here. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Um, I really hate the idea of walking into the next floor with all these monsters, but I don't think I can improve, right? <laughs> They're spawning way faster than we can kill them somehow, and we're surrounded. So let's just go. Alright. We have, though, a ton of credits and energy. So that's what we got out of that floor. And there's still a Cryptog here. This glitch. I'm gonna go up the gut. Uh, so we're going to use uh, a ton of delays here, um, but that's okay because our new Siphon Plus, we're going to have to use like a push too. Uh, our new Siphon Plus is going to enable us to convert a lot of our credits into energy. So here we go, delay. Oh, maybe not using a push after all. Delay again. And I guess shooting this guy to the north rather than pushing. By taking one hit in exchange for two energy that we could have spent on a push, I'd rather take the hit. Delay again. And uh, now we have sort of a beachhead, right? Especially given that we have debug, we could consider not using any more delays. Um, I think we're still uncomfortably low on energy, honestly, because, like, we... The only way to prevent uh, a problem gone wrong is, is resets. We don't really have any other panic buttons than that. Debug is good, you know, but not not a general purpose tool like reset is. Um, so I think I'm going to go north, and then if I really don't like the monsters that spawn, I can undo and uh, delay them again. 
this it's great it's fine bring it on uh, the only problem is that I don't have a perfect choke point because they can come in this way but only one monster is coming that way so it's like not a big deal I think so I think we just I was going to say we walk south but walking west is promising isn't it that gets the crypt dog just as the demon is getting adjacent to us. On the other hand, walking south, we can then shoot the demon three times. This guy will have done one, two, three, four. And then we can move, say, west and shoot him twice. It seems about the same, honestly. No. Somehow it's not the same. Why is that? If I go south first and shoot this guy three times, then I go west and shoot this guy twice, and we'll be here after clearing out both of those guys exactly. If I go west, it seems, I'll be here after clearing out both of these guys exactly. And I'm not sure exactly how that happened. I guess it's because if I step south, I have to spend one extra move going west anyway to deal with the Cryptog. Whereas if I step west, the demon is going to walk into our line of sight. So we're saving a turn by going west instead of east. And if we want to, we can use that turn to go south, just like the other plan would have. So it seems better to go west. But keep in mind, this is spending six moves, right? Yes. Walk west, shoot five times. Meanwhile, one, two, three, four, like we're getting hit a lot by this guy if we don't debug him. So obviously, we debug him. All right, problem solved. Hope you guys enjoyed that little... Oh, Gross. Gross, gross, gross! Um, so we could use our newfound knowledge about how monster spawns appear to... Let's just try it. Let's undo this. And then perform exactly the same action. Look at that. He spawned elsewhere. So uh, we can... We can manipulate random occurrences to our benefit with undo. Great, good to know. So let's debug this guy as planned. And, uh, okay, that's a cryptog up there. Do I need to debug this guy? I'm not sure. If I shoot three times, he'll be in like one of these two spots. One of which is obviously a lot more awkward than the other. Or I could just debug, and then I think I'm relatively okay. Uh, I think the Cryptogs are going to get in through here before I can finish dealing with this Cryptog and this Cryptog, uh, which means I'll have to do a little bit more, uh, which tells me that I don't want to have another glitch hanging around while I do all that crap. So let's just get rid of him as well. I wish I could have gotten them both at once, but you can't have everything. <laughs> Oh, nice. They sort of, uh... Let's just push. It's only saving me one health uh, in the immediate future, but I suspect there are more Cryptogs just around the corner who will cause me some trouble. And uh, getting a little bit of space from them uh, will be well worth the investment. Oh. Fine. Uh, I undo this action. And I wait. Take that. So, where the heck did he go? Ah, he must have thought he had to go this way to get to us. So let's walk east-west. No. That's a little bit troubling. Really? Where could he have gone? We've taken five moves since he appeared, right? One, two, three is where I thought he was. Or five, so he can't really be up there. He certainly can't be here, right? So let's just go west. All right, I don't know how he got where he was, but okay. I, I accept. Oops, didn't mean to go south. Uh, so where are we siphoning on this floor? I just, like, I can't take any points, ever. <laughs> it's, it's just impossible. Uh, we just don't have the right resources. Um, I know it's silly looking at 30 credits, right? But we can't spend those credits, really. Um, we're just having enough trouble staying alive. Um, we can take this rope. That 
would enable me to be a bit bolder. Um, granted that we're doing that, where else do we want to pick up a siphon? Here is great. Um, here is fine, we can get a few points. And uh, also perform that conversion that we want so badly. Uh, I would really like to get like some of this, but then I have to fight an 8, which I am not happy with. So uh, we're going to use at least three siphons, which means I don't uh, have any trouble with uh, making my first be one that I'm purchasing. Here we go. Was I going to go here or here? What's the difference? Here we get uh, 5 and 3. Here we get 4 and 5. So yes, sign me up. Um, and I'll, I'll take the three points. I think we should be able to defend them reasonably well. They're spawning in, man! We just barely fought the welcoming party. Come on, give me a break. They're going nuts out here. Oh my god, please. Don't do this to me, guys. I don't like him appearing here. What if we undo to force him to be somewhere else? That seems pretty good. It's so tough to pick these levels clean, isn't it? Like... Oh gosh, he's so fast! He's so fast! I could poly him, but there's several things I wouldn't be very happy with. I could push. Oh dear. How is he so fast? It should be illegal. Um, and Polly, just to maybe save one health, is not so great. I think I would rather take the damage. And then perhaps reset it. They're coming in like crazy! Give me a break! No, I refuse. You will not be a virus. Get out. This guy can be a virus, that's okay. Ugh. How do I how do I live? I mean, obviously surviving this floor is not a problem. It's just like I I'm having trouble getting value out of this siphon plus because we're spending so long on floors given that we have no particular offensive tools. Like so much stuff is appearing, it's a problem. Well, I mean, what can I do, right? I mean, step south for Siphon. I think I'd rather Siphon. Something might appear in his way, and then like we can delay stuff. I don't know. The other thing I could do is abort the plan of getting this row, but I really want this row, so I'm not going to do it. A delay gives me a lot of room to maneuver, so that's great. So let's do that. Delay. East? One more delay. West and then Polly. I don't want this guy turning into a virus when I Polly him, that's the thing. I don't mind if this guy moves three moves. Um, once, as long as he doesn't do it twice. Polly is five? Yes, five. Don't shoot south, you'll die. Um, I could push. 
before I could reset. Reset. Reset spends four energy, uh, giving me two health, but it's not going to be wasted energy um, because I'm not going to be at full health when I get to this exit. Right? I'll, I'll reset, shoot this guy, take a damage. I'll be at two. So I think, I think I'm okay with the reset here. Let's do that. But we are running real low, real low on energy. Reset. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Now I'm buying another siphon to convert um, one credit into two energy. And I know there's two monsters left, but I am out of here. Ugh. Okay. What do we got? Can we get any points? Can we salvage anything out of this disastrous run? I hate these viruses with my life. Um, where is this guy? Like around here? I don't know. Here? Here? He could be here. I'm not sure. Um, can we really? Can we get any points out of this? It seems like we have enough that we ought to be able to. I'm just not sure how. said, it seems like we start with a delay. The main problem is going to be that we just don't have enough energy to keep up all the delays we want. Um, and it's going to be hard to convert with just Siphon Plus. Like, I wish I had Exchange. Siphon Plus was just a much, much worse Exchange this game. And I needed Exchange badly enough I was willing to pay for that, but I'm not happy about it. If I had like a step or a crash or something, I could bust open these 16 points and then just make a beeline for the exit. Um, but I don't. <sighs> what if I just decided to try to get out of here with three points? Pretty sure I could do that. Right? Question mark? It's actually less clear than I thought it would be when I said it. <laughs> um, Alright, well, I don't know. We're gonna start with a delay and a walk. Alright, we found him. Fine. I don't mind spending a row on this. That's one energy to kill, like, a bunch of stuff. And the credits are just inconsequential, really. It's all about energy now. How can I most efficiently cope with all this stuff? I think I might just make a beeline for this siphon over on the west. And then try to charge out this way. Forget this siphon, it's a, it's a pipe dream. We can pick up these two by using one siphon plus and still get out with our lives, I think. We have enough delays for that. Actually, though, we don't have a lot of delays. <laughs> um, I think that's fine. I think it's fine. I think we can handle that. So let's um, let's delay again. One thing I was thinking about was buying a siphon right now and siphoning here, right? Um, which actually seems like a pretty decent plan. But I can always do that on the way back, so no rush. Ah, oh, this guy almost tricked me. Uh, I could let him spawn in, but like, why? Let's just keep him delayed. All right, let's uh, take our last delay right now to keep that guy from appearing, and then just siphon right here. That's slightly better than siphoning. So here we go. Um, delay is three. Siphon is space. Fine, that bought us a lot of time. Keep them locked down. Here we go. Um, we spend a delay now. 
Yes, because the guy in the on the exit is about to appear. So let's spend a delay. Pick up these points with a siphon plus. Right? Or do we walk north and just pick up those points? Uh, we should have enough delays to run it this way. Right? We, we, we siphon right now. Fine. 13 monsters appear. Probably one of them here, but certainly not one of them here. And then, like, this area just becomes a mess, but who cares? Uh, so we delay it all. Then we walk north. We have two energy again, because we just delayed, right? And we buy another siphon. And we siphon north. A whole bunch more monsters appear, but we've picked up two more energy to delay them again, and then we just plow through here, right? So I think we're gonna exactly run out of energy. Uh, and we'll have siphoned how? And we'll have enough We'll have enough credits for all those delays, so that's no problem. Let's just double check the energy count. Siphon right now. Bring this up to four. Delay, move north. Siphon. Bring this back up to four. Delay. It actually seems like we'll have more energy. So I'll take it. Uh, that's a siphon right now. And we're only having to buy one more siphon, so yeah, that's plenty. Uh, okay, I've convinced myself. Let's go. Yeah, as predicted, monsters everywhere, but only one of them in our way. So we delay. Three. We buy another siphon. And we use it. Alright, that's every walkable square covered in monsters. Uh, but they're never gonna get us. Delay. I don't see these guys getting us, but it's free to use our last delay just in case. Alright, good screen, right? I like it. Let's, let's get going. I hate these stupid viruses. I'm happy to have gotten 22 points now. Hard drive the size of a mattress. Sounds good to me. Oops. 169? Uh, seems reasonable, right? In four runs. Hmm. It's not bad. My 180 in three runs is quite good. Um, but, uh, you know, we lasted... It's quite good in terms of, like, number of points per run. But, uh, you know, we've lasted one more run. Okay. Uh, that'll do it. I mean, we're, we're, doing, we're doing well on the current streak list, of course. By the way... Uh, do you guys remember these guys? Salty Horse and Technical Domain? I don't remember seeing them a few runs ago. Everyone else on this list I recognize. I wonder if these guys are actually active right now. Uh, I don't know. Check, check the footage. I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, be bothered to go find the, uh, high score displays in any of my videos, because I don't always show them at the end. So, I don't know. It's a mystery. <laughs> if you guys are interested, go have a look. Let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.